so guys as you know blender is best for doing any kind of stuff whether you are doing modeling texturing animation or rendering but do you know every software has its own speciality what i said every software has its own speciality to do that what it is made for so the best example of this is substance painter substance painter will not only gives you the best result but it also saves your most amount of time that you can put it in your creativity so today i am going to show you that how you can take your 3d model from blender to substance painter and get back into the blender and achieve the good render so without having any further delay let's get into blender So guys as you can see this is my 3D model so let's texture it by using the substance painter so first thing you need to do is you have to unwrap your model properly you have to unwrap your model properly if you don't unwrap this model you can't do anything in the substance painter so keep in mind this thing so uh, if i show you my model is properly unwrapped you can see everything is unwrapped properly okay so let's take this model into the substance painter so the first thing you need to do is you have to go to file export and then you can convert it into fbx or if you want to do with obj you also can go with obj but i am going with the fbx okay so let's save this model so this is our robot model so i'm going to name this to robot okay so our model is successfully export after exporting the model you have to open the substance painter okay okay so this is the interface of substance painter so you need to do one thing go to file new and uh, after uh, the pop up window will appear you have to select your model so this is the select button and you can get your model which you have saved from the blender okay okay so as you can see this is my model so let's do that texture okay so i'm going to do some simple textures the texture which i already saved i'm going to apply on it So let me texture the whole robot and I will get back to you after texturing is done. So this is my texture as you can see I have done all the parts. Uh, so the thing is how we can get this same texture into the blender. So let's do this. The first thing you need to do is go to file export textures. There are two button export mesh and export texture. You need to do is export textures because we need only texture parts we don't need the mesh right now okay so the settings which i am doing it work for me i'm not saying that this is a right setting and you only have to do this you can choose your own settings but i am going to show you that with the setting which i used to do in my model so i am going to do this you have to select the uh, gltf pbr matter roughness okay so in the output templates you have to choose the pbr metallic roughness yeah okay so after that you have to delete the 
so after that you have to delete the emissive part uh, the height part and then you have to do is to simply grab that the normal opengl and and drop it into the rgb okay so, and select the rgb channel so you can see we get you, we get the normal opengl we don't need directx okay okay so the setting is done and now you have to do is export your texture and specify your path i have exported already so i am not going to export it again but uh, you simply used to do is click on export your texture will export automatically okay so now we have to go back into the blender okay so we are in the blender now you have to do one thing is go to edit so as you can see we are in blender so now you have to do is you have to apply the texture which we have exported from a substance painter so first thing you need to do is go to shading and after that you have to choose the part of the body where you want to apply the texture okay so go to new click on principal bsdf control shift t after pressing the control shift t this pop up will appear if this pop up will not appear in your case you have to do is go to edit preferences add on and se select and the search and search node wrangler and you have to so you have to check this okay so after that go to control shift t and then you have to find the textures which you have exported from the substance painter so these are my texture now you have to select the texture okay so i have selected the body part so i am only going to select the body textures you can see the three images are there okay now click on principal texture setup so guys as you can see the textures are automatically applied on our 3d model so now you have to do is apply same method on every part of the 3d model okay so i am choosing this arm control shift t and select the arms which is arm 1 principal texture setup okay so as you can see our texture is applied okay let's do with the rest of the things so as you can see we have applied all the texture and after that you can apply your favorite lighting and get the good render and let me show you what i have done for this so this is the final product which will look like so i hope you like this video if you really want to appreciate my work you can give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video and till that time stay creative